and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another Taylor Swift unboxing video. One, two, three, let's go, man. And I have worn probably the most appropriate jumper I own to do this because we are unboxing Midnight's The Lavender Edition. This is the one that is available in the UK. I bought it from HMV. It was $15.99. It looks like this. That's a little sticker on it. And there you go. You can see I bought it from HMV there, $15.99. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have been asking because I posted it on my store, like, where do you get this? And basically, I think you can get it from Taylor's store, but then obviously you can get it in person if you want to do that because I love doing that. And I got it from HMV. Um, I think you can get it from other like independent retailers as well. You'll just have to look because technically this is the deluxe edition or is it, it's, it's classed as the deluxe edition in the UK because of the three extra tracks. So it is going to be more expensive than the other um taylor swift cds at least that's what i've found like the other ones i found are like 12.99 ish whereas this is slightly more expensive at 15.99 looks like this she is absolutely gorgeous and if you're wondering on the back as it is with the vinyls basically it looks like this it is the same as the um moonstone blue so if you look it is Oh my gosh, I've tried to, because it's like reflective because it's a CD. Uh, there you go. Uh, so as you can see, like it is the same part of the clock, but this one is purple, just like the vinyl was, and this is like a blue colour. So you can see kind of like the difference in colour there. I have also done an unboxing of the Midnight's vinyls. I got all the vinyls and I unboxed them all in one go, so you can check that out as well. This is my fifth physical CD of Midnight's, um, but that's because I have two Moonstone Blues. One of them I have the signed edition and the other one I have the from the Capital One box set. So I still don't have the Blood Moon one because I'm kind of trying to like find a signed CD of it. Um, because then I have all of the signed CDs. Um, but if I can't find that, I will just like buy it from the store. Um, there we go. I'm trying to be careful because I want to keep the um, like little sticker because I've packed them for the rest of them and they are really cute. I love unboxing things and opening them. Ah, so there we go. That's what the little sticker looks like. She, is she focusing? She's cute. I think in terms of the vinyl, my favourite variant was the lavender one. I just think the colours were so gorgeous. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is the edition with the three extra tracks. So you've got Hits Different and then you've got two like remixes. On the actual lavender vinyl, which I do actually have behind me. Let's, let's show you. There we go. So on the lavender vinyl, you aren't getting these extra tracks. You are just getting these. This is just for the UK. I don't know if the Target edition does have the extra tracks. I think the Target vinyl does but um the vinyl in the uk the lavender one doesn't have the extra tracks and this is what she looks like she's gorgeous amazing incredible we love her so let's let's open her up ah, amazing so again um all the cds like are pretty much exactly the same the only real difference obviously is the cd color and then on the lyric booklet it's the front but then also this little strip here is then the lavender um this is what the cd looks like she's gorgeous um this was my favorite vinyl out of all the vinyls i got um i just think the color of it's so nice and it's so me as well oh, you can see my eye in there um, every time i do this i always i'm just like hello um but yeah i just think the color is so gorgeous in the vinyl and i definitely think it definitely translates to the cd whereas some of them i've i found the cd to be better than the actual vinyl because especially with mahogany because the mahogany is such a nice color on the cd like a deep mahogany like brown whereas the actual vinyl's like a transparent yellow i definitely don't think it's that nice deep mahogany color um that's why i kind of prefer the cds for this as a whole just because it's uniform so you are you know what you're gonna get whereas with the vinyl you don't really know because they are marbled and when you get like a marble vinyl you don't know how it's gonna like look so some of them look really good but then some of them don't look as good and that's kind of like the risk you're taking whereas the cds all look exactly the same and i think they are absolutely gorgeous because they kind of look like a vinyl and i just i think they're really good um, I really like that. You can just kind of like see they actually have like the marbling on the CD, but because it's like printed, it's just like 
perfect if that makes sense because it, it's printed on so they knew what they wanted but yeah that is what the cd looks like it's got like a little clock um and then as you can see it is exactly the same um the back cover i'll get my moonstone blue one as well for a comparison so this is the lavender one and this is the moonstone blue one so as you can see they are pretty much identical um mine is just like the little strip of the color there but that is that's what they look like. The vinyl compared to the Moonstone and the Lavender, like the um, Lavender was like, it was purple kind of like tinted, whereas like the um, Moonstone blue one was like blue tinted. Take them out, let's take them out and see if there's a difference between the two. Because I feel like people like this because I think um, when I've done it on past videos, people are like, oh, thank you for showing me the difference. So I'll show you all the difference. I wish with the Lavender one, instead of doing like the same part of the seed, like the same like part of the clock, I wish they'd maybe like done one that had like a full clock on it so then people could just buy one version of the album um, and, and have a full clock if that makes sense rather than having to buy like all four they could just buy one if they only wanted to get one and it's also nice to like have one that then be different because I think the fact that the lavender and the moonstone blue are so similar it's a bit like because you want the moonstone blue because it's like the, the, the generic one like the normal one but then you want the lavender one because it's nice and it has the different tracks um there we go so we've got the lavender one here that's at the bottom and i do think maybe slight difference to be honest i'd say this one looks more similar to the lavender um see like vinyl i'd say that has more of the purpley tint to it this time but they are they are pretty much exactly the same with the lyric booklet you also got a lyric booklet in the vinyl um and it was exactly the same for each of them um there you go the only difference on this lyric booklet in the cd is that the front cover is different but everything else is exactly the same but we will find out we'll find out if it's got his different end i don't know if it does um so we will find out but yeah so far exactly the same looks really nice we love her um i really like that they've used the colors from the other variants as well inside there we go this is got sweet within mastermind there we go so there is a different back page there you go so we've got the lyrics to hits different and then we've also got the like credits for your own you're on the then we've got the credits for you're on your own kid strings remix and sweet nothing piano remix there you go so that is the different back cover because obviously the other ones don't have this because they don't have hits different on there you go so I bought this in the UK as I've mentioned I know a lot of people thought you couldn't get this in the UK but you can it just took like when it was first released in the US, like, oh, there's a lavender version, ah, there was nothing on the, like, UK store or anywhere, like, in the UK saying you can get this, but you can get this. So you can get it from Taylor's store, you can get it from, like, record shops, and you can get it from HMV, which is I, where I got mine. Uh, but yeah that's what it looks like um i just i think this is my favorite version uh, just because i love the lavender i love the purpleness i think it's just such a beautiful color um so i definitely say this is my favorite of all of the versions um so i'm really glad to have it on cd as well and as well because you get the extra bonus tracks which is really good it's always so annoying trying to get a lyric booklet back in its little case because sometimes they just don't want to go in um, I'm hoping, so so far a few people have asked me like, oh can you get the 3am version on vinyl or can you get it on CD and the answer is. But at the current moment in time you cannot get the 3am version on any CD or vinyl, like any official one. Um, so this is like the most deluxe version you can get with the most songs, whereas the rest of them just have the first like songs up to Mastermind, um, which is the first 13 tracks. Well, obviously we know now Midnight's the 3am version has like 20 tracks, but yeah, you cannot get the 3am version on any CD or vinyl at this current moment in time. I imagine in the future, maybe she might release them on a CD or vinyl. I think that'd be really nice. Um, it will be a little bit annoying if there's then an extra five variants of that as well. Um, will I buy them? maybe you know me i'm a sucker for anything taylor swift releases so probably and i'll do an unboxing so um yeah but at the current moment in time there's like no word on whether these these will be released um in physical form so yeah um i hope you've enjoyed this video it's just kind of been like a short one kind of just going through the lavender vinyl just kind of letting you know that you can get it in the uk because i just know so many people have been like can you yes and that is how you can listen to hits different um so yeah technically it's the same it's like the exact same as the target exclusive but you can just get it in the uk and it's kind of been like the same with taylor's like previous deluxe albums you've been able to get them um i've always got mine in hmv um 
yeah you've been able to get them usually it's only during like the first like few like months of when the albums release because once they go they don't then restock the deluxe versions usually and um, they mainly only restock the um like normal edition which is the moonstone blue one so if you want this make sure to get it like sooner rather than later um my hmv locally has a lot of copies of this but again like once they go they pretty much go and they don't order more so make sure you get it sooner rather than later uh, just to avoid disappointment you can also get all the other variants as well like in stores in the uk so you can get them from like the independent record shops and you can also get them from your local hmv um i'm just saying that because i that's where i got most of mine from uh, and then i got the other ones from taylor's store so it just kind of depends what you want to do personally with cds i actually prefer to get them in store like i'd rather go and pick them up because i got my um moonstone blue one delivered and it was a little bit cracked and you get the risk of that like ordering it online because it could arrive cracked or because of all the like postal strikes and the delays at the moment it can also arrive later than you want it whereas if you just pick it up from the store you can just kind of get it which I like um so yeah hope you liked this video I do so many other Taylor Swift videos it's, it's probably a bit embarrassing I I love doing my Taylor Swift videos it'd be really really cool if you could check them out as well that'd be super awesome and if you're new here make sure to like and subscribe that would be so good um in the comments let me know um what's your favorite song off midnight do you want her to do like 3am versions like physical ones have you heard hits different so many questions but um feel free to answer them in the comments it'd be really cool to talk to some of you i hope you like this video and have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching it means the world mm -hmm.